Hi everyone, welcome back to the Discworld game. We are currently exploring Ankh Morpork and trying to get all the parts for a Dragon Lair Revealer. Now, some of this I remember from playing this before, some of it I just don't, so there will be quite a bit of wandering around and getting lost, I would imagine. You know, what? With a whip? Sorry? He's one of them. Probably. He's wearing a hat. Well, I... I I'm... I'm not anything with a whip. Young man! Are you one of them? I don't think so. Look, um... I'm not exactly sure what you... Yes or no? Oh, all right. Yes, then. What? Don't admit stuff like that. He doesn't walk like one. It's hard to tell in that dress. Ah. I think I can see how this is going. Um, it's a case of humorous misunderstanding, yes? Sorry? What's that? I'm not going to fall for it. You shouldn't think so in that dress. <laughs> You're just taking perfectly ordinary remarks and trying to make some kind of joke out of them. Yeah, but they're quite amusing. Come on. There's not much to laugh at in our job. I can see that. We need a bit of fun. This might not be much, but it's better than being up to your knees in blood. What are your jobs? Oh, we're heroes, mate. You? Yeah, I don't mate. think so. You just said we didn't. I mean, you? Killing dragons? Oh, we've killed dozens of... Actually, wait a minute, is this Cohen the Barbarian? If you're a hero too, you'll want to find the dragon. So, off you go. No point wasting any time. You didn't see me wasting any time when I took out the dreaded Temple of Offla. You sound like you couldn't take out the rubbish now. Oh, well, if you'll just excuse me, I think I hear Destiny calling. What have we got? Oh, is that Dibbler? Oh, it is. Fantastic. Dragon detector, sir. I don't think so. Can I interest you in a dragon detector, sir? I'll only charge a cost price, a single shilling. I'm cutting my own throat. A dragon detector? How does it work? Easy as pie, sir. This rod has a piece of wood tied to the end. When you get close to a dragon, the wood turns to flesh. <laughs> How close? Uh, very well. Like a couple of metres, I think. A slight design flaw. Tell you what, I'll halve the price. Two shillings and it's yours. I'm cutting my own throat. Uh, I don't think so. Smell. It's like... Like roasting loincloths. Sausage in a bun, sir. Wholesome and nutritious. I'll tell you what, I'll sell three for the price of one. A single penny. I'm cutting my own throat. Ah, thank you. Oh, no. Let me guess. The lovable street merchant. Cut me own throat, Dibbler, at your service, sir. Care to buy a dragon breath proof vest, sir? Oh, that might be handy. It's never been destroyed by dragon's breath yet, sir. Not necessarily a strong recommendation, though, is it? I mean, it's never been engulfed by lava or trampled by penguins either. There you are, sir. Free guarantees for the price of one. No, thank you. Well, how's about dragon pinwheels, sir? Cloison pins, flags, or we have dragon repellent. Only one shilling gets you a bottle. Tell you what, sir, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm cutting my own throat. Money back guarantee. You get your full cash back if, in fact, the dragon eats you. Personal application only, of course. Not today, thank you. Not tomorrow either. Well, what? that'll be that. I think there's someone calling me. Right, so what have we got? We have... That doesn't work. Oh, I just wanted to look at it. The art of signposting is apparently long, long dead. Shut up, sit down, no talking. If you're mad, you don't want to run around infecting everybody else. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this word you cannot stand. Uh, tell me how it makes you feel. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, yes, I see. A case of latent aggression. There's a librarian here. He is. He gets around, doesn't he? To relax and tell me about your innermost feelings. Uh, when I say the word in question. Ooh, that's it, that's it. Now, here we go. Monkey. Oh. It's gone very quiet. 
okay. Oh, you're joking. He gets everywhere too. Grade one. Hmm. Well, at least local mental health is in good hands. Hmm. Vague. Trolls Weekly, Hovel Beautiful, <laughs> Popular Siege Engineering. <laughs> I hate waiting room magazines. Oh, I don't know. Can we take some? Oh, what are we reading? What is that? No, no, I can't seem to do that. Just tools of the trade, I suppose. Can I go upstairs? Shut up, sit down. Yeah, no I didn't think so. If you're mad, you don't want to run around infecting everybody else. Right, well, I don't think there's much we can do in here unless we talk to her. Possibly the most heinous woman I've ever seen in my life. Stunning how they managed to find these people. Indeed. Right, let's head out. What else have we got around here? Oh, tomatoes. We can apparently steal a tomato. I forgot we got that frog. Actually, can we... I already have one of those. Okay. Blimey. What is happening? Care to buy a money pouch, sir? What? Very good, Nick. Cost you one shilling. No, I already have a money pouch. What happened there? Are you sure? Stolen! The damn thing's been stolen! Good thing I was at hand with a replacement then, innit, sir? Wait a minute. This looks exactly like my money pouch. You see, sir? You'll hardly even know your old pouch has gone. That's service for you. Now, look. Did you just steal this? Don't look at me, sir. I'm just a lovable street urchin, I am. <laughs> urchin? Yeah, you know, one of them hard things that lives on seaside rocks. Yeah, I don't think that's what it means. It's a starfish, isn't it? Is it? All right, sir. I'm a lovable street starfish, then. <laughs> Sounds a bit fishy to me. Oh. I'm just keen to get you to shell out, Gov. Oh, it gets worse. What is he doing? Like a second pouch, sir. Just as a reserve, so to speak, in case the worst should happen. Look, if it's not too much to ask, how did you do that? What? Give away a trade secret? Yeah, go Tell on. how you do it, or I'll turn your spleen into a tank of sea monkeys. Oh, we said monkey. <laughs> did you get the number of that donkey cot? Oh, well, when you put it that way, Gov, look, it's easy. Just practice on those old guys over there and get your hand in. So, what, is that all the advice he's going to give us? <laughs> this is not going well. What have we got? Bloomers? Bloomers? Hmm. About my size, actually. Sort of soft and silky, but a strangely liberating thought. That I am not too sure about. Right, so is there anything else along here? There was that Amazon warrior. Actually, let's have another chat with the... I nearly called him a sea urchin. The street urchin. Don't act like a simple street urchin. Starfish. More like a shark, I think. I've done me apprenticeship, sir. I've got me chit. Look, I challenge you to find a single bit of clean skin on me. <laughs> so why are you more cheerful, then? Shouldn't you be out scrumping apples or stealing sticks from blind old men? Well, normally I would, sir. It's just that I'm a little bit off me feed. Well, it's not good enough. You may go. Just make sure you stay filthy, and I want you to be irrepressible by lunchtime. I'm not certain right. that's going to work, Don't be but a stranger. we'll Cheers. see. Um, just had a thought, actually. Oh, can I'm not going to head down there just now because I've just had a thought of that. Shut up! Sit down! No talking! If you're mad, you don't want to run around infecting everybody else. Can I steal that no, butterfly no, net? I can't seem to do that. <sighs> Egg, egg. I'm sorry. The eyes, 
The eyes. The awful knowing eyes. What's happened to you? I couldn't take it. Thumping, not thumping. My brain's gone potty. Ah! Get them off me. They're all green. Right, I can see why he's visiting the psychiatrist. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. So I can't get that butterfly net, but the fact that it's there makes me think it's important. Can I chat to the girl? No, I can't seem to do that. Now, why is she dressed as a milkmaid? Presumably because she's a milkmaid. I don't know. Well, it looks like this might take a while to try and find the, the parts of this detector. What on earth is this? The Dunny King. Is this a toilet? Dashing down the effluent king. I thought all kings were affluent. No effluent. Good day. Can I interest you in a free sample, sir? Not on your Nelly. Yeah. Uh, don't get horribly burned. I don't think so. Monsters or anything. That doesn't work. A bit, well, messy. Oh, no, I don't want rinsewind. I want that rubber belt. That doesn't work. A nice strong rubber belt, that. <laughs> that doesn't work. Can't do anything. Right, well, tell you what, we'll try and work it out next time, shall we? We will take a, a pause there and come back to this another time. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment and come back to see what happens next. Bye for now.